Right, today folks we are installing a new antenna and it's time to say goodbye to the Comet H422 I've had that for oh, 8 years now and it's starting to give trouble traps keep breaking aluminium's becoming brittle you get a storm at all and you have to bring it down and repair traps and fix this and fix that so I get fed up with it so I bought another one it's a V750 5 band what does it cover? 40, 20, 15, 10 and 50 megs there's the resonators for the 50 megs but anyway what do you say? AliExpress watch let me put the bloody horn what am I say? there's it there real name just a V 750 V positive. And by the time it arrived here, it was 240 odd quid, something like that. And it can be in the V configuration or horizontal, but I'm putting it in the V configuration. It's made out of better metal or heavier material than the, the Comet. The thickness of this better than the, the Comet. These big extenders are made out of GRP fiberglass. Mind them, because you'll get a scale for those for this resonator. Three rivets hold that together. And then you have an adjustment point for various SWR adjustments. Tighten these in the top side, you'll be able to get a good half turn onto those. Same again, more adjustment points. Now these little winglets, when you're tightening these together, no matter how tight those screws are, this, this floats about, so I had to put a little sim of insulating tape in behind it, clamp it down, and there's set measurements for the distance. And for 40 metres you can adjust this, as well as this, to get a proper SWR. But if I can get an SWR in the middle, sort of in the middle of uh, 20 and 40, I'll be half money off. 15 and 10. I've uh, verticals for that anyway. But we'll do our best. Anyway, there we go. Let's get started. Right, the V750 antenna is installed, and this is my first test to see what the SWR is like. With the power set at about 10 15 watts, we're on FM and uh, we're on SWR meters. So I'm going to we're at the top end of the band, so I'm going to key the mic and have an SWR of about three. How am I going to do this and key the mic and hold the cup at the same time? So I'm going to bear with me and key the mic, scroll down. So from the middle of the band, I was at 1.5, I'm dropping way down. So we're just starting to climb back again. So I'm going to shorten the antenna at the 40 meter section and see if we can get that, that dip. I want that dip about here. But we'll try it. Now, let's see. Twenty meters, FM, same again. There are one point five. Dropping, 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 dropping. So I'm very happy with that. I'm gonna leave that. Right? Let's go up to fifteen meters, going to FM again. Right, but 1.2, start to scroll down, the usual part of the band, we're dropping again. So 1.5, just under. So I'm going to leave that. Say it's very right, we're using 15 metres in this, this antenna. Now let's see 10 metres. Let's see. I'm on FM, so 
start at the bottom. There you are. Or absolutely flat, dead on 29. Look at that. Flat, flat, flat. Starting to climb slightly. So there we go. So the only part of the band I'm going to adjust is the uh, 40 meter band. I'm going to shorten it by two holes and see what happens. Right. Time to pull the antenna down again. Right. I've adjusted the two, uh, can you see them from here? <laughs> not, forgive me. They're just beyond the wee tag you can see with the last section. And then I lowered it by three holes. Because the SWR was away three at the top of 40 metres. So I've lowered it by three holes. Hoping that'll do. Hoping that, so anyway, we're going to give it a go. Plus I've a, Put a lot of uh, self-amalgamating tape around all those holes, the top of those traps, the bottom of the traps. Don't forget, which I did, a little link wire on the, the 6 metre or the 50 megs. I'm just about to tape this balm up, protect it. And I drill those holes out and use stainless alum. The, the other ones they gave you provided you with were little screws that were useless. Mine when you're oh, I'm gonna trip here. I've put little bits of rubber underneath that. And you're tightening that down just be careful. Just, I'm just starting to deform it, pinch it, give it a good squeeze. But I'm just about to wrap this balm in a bit of uh plastic to weatherproof it. And have a few ferret more to go onto the trap or under the See what happened, but anyway, right. Aye, tipped up those rivet holes. Yeah, those those have all got a good splat and a motorbike chain <laughs> lube on them to help protect everything. The holes that line up from these, when you you slide them, and sometimes they're not just lying up perfect. Now they run the drill down through them just to tidy them up a bit. Right, let's put her up again and see what happens. Right, so we're back in the shack. I lowered the uh, the 40 meter elements by as much as the antenna we allow with the holes lining up. And uh, we're still showing a high, sort of high SWR right at the very top. But let's see, there's the, we're an FM, we're keyed. SWR, meters engaged. There we are. That's about its lowest point. Starting to climb. 1.5 about 1.50. And as we get to the top, it starts to spike. So, and the other bands aren't affected. So what I might do, I'll let the antenna rest for a week up there. And then, uh, I bring it down again. And uh, I might just shorten those elements. Take the hacks off and maybe take an inch off it. Because that's all you're doing. You're low, there's three holes and you're lining them up. Each hole's about an inch apart. Or maybe run the drill down through the side of the, the, the doodah, the, the, the second slider element, and uh, run a bolt to it. But it's got the bloody <laughs> the drill up to those. <laughs> I have an awful lot of room at the back. But anyway, so far so good. So we've yet to have a couple of contacts on. We'll see what the story is. Right. Final adjustments have been made to the uh, 40 meter section of the, the V750 and uh, beforehand at 7.2 I had an SWR of, oh god, approaching 3. Then I've shortened the, con the antenna by another 2 inches. So that's brought us down to about 1.4. Um, let me see now. 170, 170 before my final. Adjustments, it was about a 1.7 and there about a 1.23. It starts to climb again. Uh, there 
Now we're about a 1.6, maybe 1.7 again. But this is the portion of the CW band. This doesn't really interest me anyway. As long as I have it, uh, not the usual part of the SSB portion. That's, I'm very happy with that. And here's what I did. Brief warm up bit of paper. I should have filmed this, but I was carrying drills and screwdrivers. Now, this is the adjustable section, the last section of the antenna. And as it comes, it comes with three holes drilled in it. You put a bolt through it to secure it. Now, in my last test, I had the last bolt in it, the, the hole driven down to the shortest part of the... the, the it could shorten the antenna by only this amount here. And uh, that was with the previous test. And so I've drilled a further hole down another two inches and brought it down. Maybe an inch and a half might have been might have been better. But anyway, it is what it is. And I've put that in. And that's given me the results I have now. So at uh, 7.2 of uh, just over 1.6. So I'm happy enough with that. I'm going to leave it at that. And it hasn't affected, uh, hasn't affected any other uh, bands of the antenna. Plus, I noticed when uh, I was... Connecting up the ballon, the, the the wires that they give you that connect the the actual elements of the antenna to the ballon are God Almighty, they're terrible. They're very flimsy. They've got these wee, uh, you know, the wee eyelets crimped onto them and all. But I've had these these uh proper proper earth wires, and I put these on it. I'd recommend doing that. They're good sturdy ones. Make something a bit more substantial than what comes with the antenna. But anyway, that's that. It is uh, it is what it is, folks. And so far, I'm happy enough with so. I'll do a few tests. There we go again. Ah, no, I'm happy enough with that. Right. We'll see if we can. Uh, and of course, last night I was trying to test it out in a few contacts, and conditions were terrible. People are giving you a 4 by 7 a 4 by 6 and of course, I, I'm running 80 or 90 watts. They're running 1.3 kilowatts, and they're 20 over 9, you know. So, But anyway, it is what it is. Right, bye bye for now. Now, I forgot to mention the 6 meter band. So I'm on to have jumped from the, the little 890 onto the FTTX 10 here. Um, 50 megahertz to 52 megahertz. A band I've never used and that, that doesn't interest me. But I will give you an idea of what the SWR is like in it. We'll move to this, this monitor so there's no glare. Um, let's see. Well, now how am I going to do this? Right. I'll squeeze this between my thighs, this microphone. Right. You can see a bit of flutter, so the antenna's getting blown around slightly. And we're going up frequency. Up frequency. And we're just over 50 to 51 megs, so we're just over 1.5. We're dropping down again. And that's us out of band. So there you are. So there's just a wee spike in the middle, about 50... I started 51 megahertz and it'll be 1.6 but the rest of it's uh so it's very well bonded you can see there's just a spike there and you come on down it drops so well maybe uh i'll maybe try 50 meters see what happens but yes let's go and have a look here And of course, placement is all down to uh, your environment. I have this big metal shed here. I can reach for the motor mix, which probably doesn't help things, but there's it there. And I've other antennas about it, which is going to have an effect upon it, but. Indeed. Right. Bye bye.